Okay, so they're going to take a break. Gives us a good time to break down what we're seeing here. Joining me once again is retired LAPD Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey, as well as former prosecutor Melba Pearson. Cheryl, let me ask you, if the prosecution is right and he did do this, are you surprised at how sloppy this would be? I mean, there's, there's, even though this is a circumstantial evidence case and we don't have DNA or eyewitness uh, accounts tying the defendant to the crime, you know, with his cell phone data, with the car that has the suitcase in it and has sand in it, possibly trying to show it's from the causeway. When we look at his apartment and seeing that there are drag marks from the luggage, are you surprised to see these things that would be left over to help incriminate him or not? No, I'm, I'm not surprised, but I mean, listen, if he's an opportunist and he had a very short window within which to commit this crime, then it kind of makes sense to me because it was all hurried. It wasn't something that was necessarily pre-planned other than the fact that maybe he had seen this little girl before and, you know, was drawn to her in a sick sort of way. But now he has an opportunity. Ebony is gone. He's here alone. He committed this crime. He's got to get rid of the body. And so I've got to make it happen. Oh, where's my suitcase? Oh, there's stuff in it. Let me empty it out. Put the body in there. She's 110 pounds, allegedly. She's, she's a good-sized third grader. Drag her little body, you know, through the complex, through the garage, put her in the car. He had a very short window of opportunity within which to conceal his efforts. It's amazing how the evidence kind of tells a story there. And again, if it's rushed, it, it would help support that narrative. Um, no, but let me ask you this, you know, defense strategy here. We didn't see an opening statement by them after a very long, thorough and detailed opening statement from the state. We're kind of getting a sense of where they're going or maybe going under cross-examination of certain witnesses. But I got to ask you, what is their strategy here to try to convince this jury that their client didn't do this? So the defense strategy is going to be pointing to the lack of physical evidence and the lack of uh, eyewitness testimony. When I say lack of physical evidence, I'm talking about lack of DNA, fingerprints, and also, as I mentioned before, an eyewitness to the crime. Um, as a result of that, they're hopefully going to cast reasonable doubt upon the state's evidence. And then also, as a secondary backup strategy, this is a death penalty case, they could be angling for, okay, well, if you are going to convict, at least give him life in prison due to uh, the, the, the horrible upbringing he had, uh, potential mental health issues that he may be suffering from, and the fact that this was not an overwhelmingly strong case. So I think it's, it's a two-pronged attack. It's basically going to discredit the state's evidence and show that there's been a lack of investigation or mm -hmm. a lack of enough things tying this defendant to the crime. And as a backup, he should receive life in prison, not to death penalty. Our perspective, something that we know that the jury doesn't quite know yet, is that as the defense was preparing for this case, they filed a notice listing 10 mitigating factors for the death penalty, as you just said, talking about a head injury that he had when he was younger, suffering from mental and physical abuse, how he had a tough upbringing. My question, and I said this earlier, was why would they be preparing for this? Unless, of course, they believe he did this, that he's going to be convicted, and now it's moving on to, of course, the penalty phase. Why prepare at this stage with these kinds of defenses if you don't expect that uh, you're going to convince the jury one way or another? All right, so we're going to take a break. When we come back, more to discuss. Keeping a careful eye on our other courtroom feeds. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.